We're gonna go ahead and pray for those that um, in Ukraine and Russia and everybody that's involved. So Lord, right now we just ask that your peace and comfort be over those families um, and all those people that are over there that are involved in this, this war that is happening, that you begin to just move on their lives and just bring peace and comfort in the name of Jesus. Hey YouTube fam, we wanted to say thank you for all of the love and support that y'all have been giving us and for all those likes and the comments and all the new subscribers, we want to say thank you. But right now we're going to be, we want to focus on getting you all prepared uh, for the immediate events that are happening and the devastating events that are happening in U Ukraine. And we want to just help you guys get prepared because that could affect us too. Yeah. So right now we're going to give you five items that could possibly be impacted by the events happening in Ukraine. Right. Uh, and so it would be good for you to stock up. This isn't to instill fear. This yep. is just to get you guys prepared yep. and just to have a little bit extra because of um, impending food shortages. Yes. So let's hit you with the five items right away. But make sure you stay tuned because if you stay tuned, we'll tell you why we picked those items. And also we will tell you more items to get as well. Yes. So the first item, number one, is flour. Flour is the first item you should start stocking up on, getting in the grocery store, getting big bags, because you can vacuum seal it. Yep, you can buy 50 pound bags and, and separate it. Second item is pasta. We've got um, spaghetti noodles here too. All right, the third item is... Oats, it's over here. Yep. Oats. And the fourth item is... Snacks. snacks. So we got goldfish, we got animal crackers, and then we got rich crackers, and then of course, saltine crackers as well. Yep. And then also popcorn kernels. Yes. And um, another thing that we don't have in front of us would be animal feed. Animal if, feed for your you livestock. For your livestock or even for your dogs or cats. So. Any information that we are about to give you, we will link where we got that information, uh, which will be articles, so that you can check it for yourself. So some people call Ukraine the bread basket of the world. Russia and Ukraine provide 30% of the world's global wheat products. Ukraine is responsible for 15% of the corn sales. And Ukraine is the second largest grain supplier for corn, wheat, and barley. So we're gonna break this down into categories for you. The wheat category would be things like flour. Yeah, pasta, bread, crackers. crackers, things like that. Your barley is going to be your oats, yep. your puddings, your soups, things like that. And then the last category is corn. Yeah. And that's going to be your popcorn, your cornstarch, your grits, yeah. your snack foods, your salad dressing, spices, things like that. Yes. Almost everything has corn yes. somewhere in it in the grocery store. So we're going to go over the reasons why we chose the five items earlier in the video on um, what we think is important. Yeah. So number one we dealt with was flour. The reason why we think that you should stock up on it is not only is Ukraine a provider of it, but flour is such a multi-purpose item and it's so easy mm -hmm. to store and seal. So I mean you can make bread, you can, you make, can bread. make you can make pasta, you can make tortilla, um shell, like shell yeah. or you chips. Know. I mean you can do just about anything with it. And so, well, not anything, but you can do a lot with a flour. A lot with it. You it's going to fill your it. belly. <laughs> and so, and these are five pound packages, vacuum sealed. Uh, a friend of our family, she's really family, Janet, really helped us get this going. She taught us how to do this. But this is super easy and vacuum sealed like this lasts for like years in this. So something that, this is why we kind of chose this item. Now we will teach how to do all of these things. Here is um, vacuum canning vacuum sealing and oven canning and we will teach how to do that just not in this video yes the second thing we picked was pasta this is super easy to store um as long as it doesn't get wet basically and you remove most of the air the from, oxygen yeah the oxygen and stuff it'll last for a long time and what's nice about this is you just add hot water which you can cook over a fire basically and then you got pasta you yeah. don't need salt you know i mean we have the it's, it's, so it's just really nice and easy Oats is a great one because you can, um, oats is super filling for just a small amount. You can also make a lot with it as well. So you can grind up your oat flour mm -hmm. and it's a healthy substitute for all purpose flour and you can make your waffles, pancakes, um, muffins, things like that 
or you can just have it as regular oatmeal. oatmeal. Right. Snacks. So cereal, we forgot to mention that. That would be in the snack pile too. Cereals, animal crackers, anything like that. In case you have kids, it's just really nice to have those things on hand to fill their little bellies as they're constantly wanting to eat. Right. And a lot of these things, if there is a food shortage, the prices are gonna go up, 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 and you're not gonna be able to find a lot of these things. Popcorn. Yep. So, and then of course the fifth item we went over was corn kernels. This is great because this is very versatile. You can obviously make popcorn in it, um, but you can also grind this up to make cornmeal, which gives you cornbread. You can even mix it with some flour corn that we have for corn tortillas and stuff like that. Uh, so the reason why um, we're just kind of going over these, all these items are extremely versatile in um, making more, I more dishes uh, for your family. And so that's why we chose these items. Yeah. And so we're gonna go over a lot more in detail in another video on how to do this and like what, what more you can do with these items individually. But we wanted to just kind of help you guys get prepared and start thinking now um, of you know items that you could start storing yourself. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and for any family and friends that you think this would benefit, yes. please share it with them so we're all prepared together. It, uh, one of the major things you can do is get seeds. And so if you wanna see what seeds we got, then go ahead and watch this video and then make sure you subscribe over here. Thanks and God bless.